Okay, so today is the first time I'm gonna be going out in the van for a long journey. I'm gonna be out in the van for a few days because I'm gonna be out exploring, hiking, biking all day and bouncing to and from the van. This is kind of like a pre-camping test, so we're gonna see how it gets on. Obviously, it's not finished, so thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so all the checks are done. Let's get you into position. First corner, all the bags, the drinks, everything went flying across, so I need to anchor those down. I've anchored the bike down, bungees, so that works really well. The rest of the uh, stuff being stowed away the way I did it does not work well. However, there will be covers that in the future, this is temporary, but that is the first mistake I've done. First corner, everything went whoosh, smashing across the van. A lesson learned there, and yeah, awesome let's keep going i'm just rolling with you guys it's kind of a vlog i don't really do vlogs you know we're gonna just roll with it and see how we get on okay so got my coffee it's time to get on this journey Okay, so we're at the second coffee stop of the day. Reason for that is we are a couple of hours into the journey already, and I've just been and picked up this cylinder head here, which you can't see that well. Which, if you don't know what that is, that's a cylinder head off an engine. So I've got that. So now I'm a couple more, more couple of hours, a more, a couple more hours in. So I'm gonna have another coffee now, a bit of food, and then we'll continue our journey to Swansea. Really? So yeah, before we was rudely interrupted. Now, another quick little coffee stop. Second one of the day, as I mentioned, not ideal. But I'm just chilling, I'm relaxing, I'm enjoying myself. Van's doing quite well so far. There's definitely some teething problems I need to sort out that kind of iron themselves out straight away, show themselves rather. Let's crack on. Yeah, to be honest, a review on the van so far. Obviously guys, this is like a vlogging kind of few days away. Uh, I'm not sleeping in the van, but I am gonna be out enjoying it as I've previously mentioned. So stick with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box below if you like this kind of thing. Review on the van so far, phenomenal. It is absolutely, this is the first time I've done a journey in it since I've done the conversion and it is so much more quiet. I haven't got a floor down yet, clearly, and I've got a lot of glass. So you guys with vans and less glass, it must be so nice. This is awesome, to be honest, compared to what it was. The soundproofing and the insulation and the carpet, everything's all added up, but it's made such a difference. It's really quiet. There is one rattle up there we have got to rectify, but it is TV problems. I haven't done anything in it yet. So basically another review for this van for me, I like the sat nav on the right hand side, not in the centre, because I feel that the centre does obstruct your vision slightly, but also because I've got the camera in the centre, I don't want it to obstruct the vision of the camera. So I moved it to the side, I don't mind the wire running across the dash, I'm not too bad about that, I'm not going to hardwire the sat nav just because I use it in multiple vehicles one thing i don't like is the power point being here when you've got a drink or something obviously the cup holder is there next to the power point and i've got to kind of like get over it to, to clip it back in so i don't like that so up and coming job for me soon is to move a secondary power point over to here on the hard plastic by the switches for the lights so that you can just run down the heat vent on the dash and just go straight in there and it won't obstruct me getting in and out because it's above my knee level so that's an up and coming job these few days guys like i said stick with it but they're all about finding these team problems which you will benefit from because you might think well i'm going to do that and it might help you before you get out in yours for the first time so yeah guys super excited super happy for you to be here if you're still here after that lung gobbing off then thank you very much. Let's get back into a bit of a drive-in time-lapse. Talk on the way to 
Swansea have decided to come to Portugal. Absolutely love it here. Uh, a lot of fun, fun memories from uh, when I was younger. So here we are. I'm going to get the bike out, I'm going to get the drones out and uh, just see what footage we can make. Oh, ice creams. But mainly enjoy myself and uh, see where the day takes us. So here now on Port Crawl front. You'd have to excuse a bit of the wind noise. I think the first place we'll go is down there, right up to the water. Straight down to the front. So look at this, look. How awesome is that? Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of little lines, nothing crazy. Just uh, some little warm up stuff. quite uh, strenuous from what I remember so for anyone who doesn't know this is Porth Crawl in South Wales and what a beautiful place it is I've just been down the bottom there I dropped down into this so I'd like to try and get out although I've got my bag and stuff on I'd like to try and get out of here without walking There we go, let's move on. I think we'll go up onto this ledge. There we go. We'll go across here. Alright, so I've come over the uh, the end of the seafront and honestly look how beautiful this is guys. Phenomenal place. So I'm going to work my way up this wall, that's probably about six foot there and I'm going to go see how far I can go, it's not too windy. Start off small. So about here, that's about seven foot. So thanks for watching today's vlog. I know it's a, a little strange video, but there's a couple of days coming up, a few days while I'm away. I'm gonna get, can quite, can't quite see it over there, T5. I'm gonna get some T5 tips and tricks in these couple of days as well. Just stuff that I experienced in my time in it. So thanks for watching. Look forward to tomorrow's upload, which is day two.